Away we go. So G101 is German destroyer. Tier 3 premium. And she's a versatile little, little ship. She's got very good guns for her tier, in my opinion, as well as having a super fast torpedo reload and having six torpedoes, two and two um, double launchers, two sets of double launchers that you can shoot to either side, and then single torpedo launchers off each bow. Her torps have a seven kilometer range and her detection is only 4.9 kilometers. So pretty easy to get into stealth torping range with her, which is one thing I really like about her and makes her really beneficial for just knocking out torpedo hit goals and goals where you need to cause flooding, like tonight. So it looks like we're playing in capture the base mode. There's no domination caps to contend with. So early roll for me is just going to be to spot. Kind of get a sense of where the enemy ships are. And see if we can pick out any particular ships for torpedo runs on. Only a couple battleships, which is unfortunate. They're going to be the easiest targets. Now we have four destroyers to contend with from a spotting perspective. And then three cruisers. So not the most favorable environment to get flooding, but we'll see what we can do. Generally a very battleship heavy game is, is your best bet to score a large number of torpedo hits. So to get my torpedo indicator working, I've got to select a given ship. Now you see the target marker over the Gangoot. Help me select her. She's not coming my way. Karlsruhe. Also heading kind of flat trajectory. But the St. Louis looks like she's bearing in. My range indicator on the St. Louis is less than what my distance to the ship is. That means she's traveling towards me. It's my two front bow launchers. Then again, I have twin launchers, two of those that can angle to either side. Okay, one of the enemy DDs is spotting me. This side, actually there's two of them there. First came back, might want to lead the target a little bit. Helpful. There we go. Wakataki isn't really going to be able to take me down on a gun for gun basis. The Japanese destroyers are really more torpedo boat than gun boat. We're a better mix. So unfortunately getting spotted kind of alerted that St. Louis to my presence and let him take some evasive action. Best bet is when you can make your torpedo run, get in stealth range, release your torpedoes, and duck out before you're spotted. That way, enemy ships don't have really any time to react to you. Once you are spotted, they kind of know you're in the neighborhood, like right now. I'll go ahead and throw some torpedoes St. Louis's way, just in case he's focused in on those cruisers na nearby. And that could very well be the case, where he's not really paying too much attention to me. Meanwhile, we're going to shift and help on the bow three, but our team's doing a good job focusing there. The one guy sat still and took torpedoes, probably was facing broadside to that destroyer. If you're going to go still with a destroyer near you, you best want to be bow in or stern into that target, not facing sideways. Hey, there's a torpedo hit and a flood. If you're going to get a cruiser that has battleship-like characteristics, it is the St. Louis. 
She's super sturdy, has a ton of hit points for her tier, and she's not the most mobile of cruisers. She has a crap load of guns. And our cruiser kind of took the easy way out with the ram. Now we have a battleship coming central, heading towards our cat. Fortunately, just in range where they could spot us. Got out of spotting range. Let's see. See how skilled this player is right away. If they change speed and direction, we'll know. They're a pretty crafty player and are aware of what to do. Take evasive action when DDs appear. If he continues in a straight line, which is what it looks like is happening, we're going to get some torpedo hits. Two and three. All three got flooding. So it looks like we knocked out our flooding goal. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Which is fantastic. Sorry, one of my cringy daughters is in the room. <laughs> She's distracting me. Uh, all right, let's see if he has the same tunnel vision again. He's gonna fire off four more torpedoes and bail. I think he's so zoned in on what our battleships are doing in the cap. Concentrate fire on the he doesn't seem to be paying much attention to me. But we'll see, he might have been going slower and sped up. It's like he did speed up this time. Good news is, we're going to hit our goal regardless of the outcome of this battle. I hate to think that way. I definitely always want to try to win, and I'll continue to do so. But the good news is, we've done what we need to do individually. Now we just keep trying to contribute to the team effort. If I time this just right, we're not going to be spotted a whole long, tiny period. Sent off good salvo of six torpedoes this time. Boost deactivated. He's close, so he's not going to have a lot of reaction time. There's one, two. Awesome. You, destroyed an enemy battleship. you get attacked the first time and you keep going in a straight line and showing broadside in the direction the torpedoes came, you can expect to get another salvo of torpedoes your way. So we've been able to even it up. Last thing I want is my battleships being harassed solo by this destroyer, so we're going to come in and engage the destroyer. Man, for our tier 3 ship we're actually having a really good damage game. Focused in on the BBs as well. French DDs are really fast, gonna have to lead them out quite a ways. Most destroyers have pretty high arcing uh, shells. Looks like our battleships did not evade either. shot in on his stern. Gonna change direction. The ship is on fire. He's fired torpedoes, hopefully we can head in a different way different direction than where he had aimed. Hoping this cruiser is not gonna engage me. Oh my that was a wild shot. We do have Battleship now trying to engage us as well. Where's the Battleship? Might as well throw some torpedoes out at the Wyoming. Here, 
repair that damage. Okay, we're gonna become unspotted. Problem solved, sir. Ishizuki has a lot of hit points left. You should be able to take out a car Drew. Now, I'll tell you, don't shoot high explosive with battleships, but Ishizuki is one that has extremely good HE and really tends to wreck modules, especially on cruisers and destroyers. So it's not a bad choice. When it comes to ammo type. Can wait for those torpedoes, but I'm actually going to engage the cars rear right now. I'm gonna smoke up. Smoke generator started. Hopefully the battleship will keep the cruiser spotted. DD. Smoke screen set. It's gonna be spotted by the battleship. It's gonna fire torpedoes at our position. We can expect that. Can't angle away. Nicking him for help. Nice. That's the HE, most likely. I didn't see for sure. That's the HE that the Ishizuki can pack. It's punchy. Definitely punchy. So now 4.9 is our spotting distance. The watch for torpedoes. Sometimes they come later from the dead destroyer than you think. Not seeing torpedoes. Fire off our own torpedoes. Now we'll be able to get to closer range because I don't have to be worried about spotting from anybody but the battleship. You can see we're already almost ready to reload again, which is phenomenal. It's, it's like a little. There's a torpedo hit. Come on, one more. We're gonna switch to guns. These turrets are slow. We may get a torpedo hit. Yes! Sweet! The itch is zucchini and I carried that one. That was a comeback victory. And one game. Quicker than I expected, we knocked out flooding goal picked up a couple crates I'm actually gonna open crates in a minute so how do we do we finish when well, I'm finishing first with the Ishizuki it's fantastic key to this game was we got all their destroyers except for one out of the way relatively early so that made a huge difference at the end for me you have multiple destroyers at one time that you're contending, contending with and the torpedoes and focus fire, it's a lot more difficult if you're also trying to keep track of a battleship and cruiser like what's happening in this game. So how did we do? We got five floods in that one game. So again, talked about it in the first half of this stream earlier today. For the endurance missions, it really matters that you pick a ship that can get high experience point gains and high credits gains and you want to use boosters and a premium ship if you can and a higher tier ship to get through the endurance missions but the fact of the matter is for these shakedown trials you don't need that you just need your favorite ship that can get you torpedo hits that can get you main battery hits that can, you can kill ships with it doesn't have to be a premium doesn't have to necessarily be high tier in this case we can use a tier three to knock out a flooding goal or a, a torpedo hits goal so Definitely the one that's damage oriented is going to be a higher tier ship, so we're going to go back to that next. But we were able to hit nine torpedoes in that game and knock that flooding goal out, which is awesome. 